Bay Systems has recently developed adaptive and enhanced camouflage for military vehicles that drastically suppresses their thermal signature, making them undetectable to infrared night vision sensors. Remarkable footage shows this technology in action as the thermal camera methodically tracks an armored truck through a deep jungle. As a CV-90 light tank displays different letters on its side, it suddenly halts and its thermal signature swiftly disappears, seamlessly blending into its surroundings. Adaptive utilizes hexagonal metallic panels that instantly adjust the temperature, allowing operators to blend effortlessly with the environment and mimic natural objects or civilian vehicles. The company has outlined plans to deploy adaptive across air vehicles and maritime vessels. If successful, this groundbreaking camouflage technology will usher in a new era of warfare, enabling unprecedented infiltration tactics and covert operations behind enemy lines. The use of camouflage and war has been part of warfare since prehistoric times. During the olden days, men would use mud, branch leaves, animal skins, and man-made pigments to disguise themselves from more enormous creatures and, more importantly, from other hostile tribes. Since then, camouflage has come quite a long way with the evolution of military uniforms and the environments in which soldiers fight. From the colorful medieval and Napoleonic uniforms to the standardized use of darker colors such as khaki, gray, and olive green during World War I and II, Camouflage has followed a common trend, reducing the visibility of a soldier. With the introduction of armored vehicles, aircraft, and powerful ships, optimal camouflage has always played a crucial role in selecting a vehicle's color. The camouflage pattern has always been heavily inspired by the ambiance in which an army is deployed. Soldiers and their vehicles must integrate smoothly into various landscapes, including deserts, woodlands, jungles, and icy tundras. Camouflage has developed substantially over time, as have military clothing and tactical landscapes through which soldiers must maneuver. Camouflage has evolved to limit soldier visibility, from the vivid costumes of medieval and Napoleonic periods, to the adoption of darker hues such as khaki, gray, and olive green during World Wars I and II. However, the development of infrared sensors resulted in significant shift in military tactics. These advanced systems detected hidden soldiers and vehicles concealed in bushes or behind natural cover from substantial distances. In the 1970s, thermal sensors utilizing mid and long-range infrared spectra gained prominence on the battlefield. During the Vietnam War, experimental site prototypes capable of penetrating impenetrable jungle canopies gave soldiers and special operators new capabilities for detecting hidden North Vietnamese and Viet Cong foes. Initially used by snipers for precise target acquisition, infrared sensors quickly gained widespread adoption in unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, drones, and numerous armament systems, changing modern warfare. This technological innovation encouraged global forces to experiment with specialized fabrics and colors in uniforms to reduce infrared detection. Lieutenant Colonel Tim O'Neill, a renowned camouflage expert, interviewed by Eric Schelter of Popular Mechanics, stressed the obstacles posed. You are defying physical laws. Heat must dissipate or the soldier will become a hot, stinky puddle. While the late 1990s witnessed the Swedish Army's exploration into active temperature modulation to conceal infrared signatures, the efficacy of passive IR camouflage has been variable since its inception. These developments underscored the ongoing evolution in military camouflage technology, driven by the imperative to adapt to increasingly sophisticated detection methods in modern warfare. The experiments were successful, but the equipment utilized was expensive and exceedingly fragile, severely limiting its operational application in war settings. However, the Swedish Defense Material Organization launched a steerable and controllable infrared signature program in 2005 after years of hard work and scientific research. The goal was to create an effective, adaptive camouflage that military troops and vehicles could utilize to blend in with their surroundings. Unlike classic camouflage, adaptive camouflage produces displays that alter depending on the surroundings and lighting conditions. In an essay written for NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Philip Moynihan of Caltech and Maurice Langvin explained that the essential overall function of an adaptive camouflage system would be to project on the near side of an object the seen from the far side of the object. If you're enjoying the video so far, 
be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more exciting military content just like this. Your support fuels our drive to produce the best content possible. The Duel then explains that adaptive camouflage consists of flexible electronic flat panel display modules placed on an object's surface to conceal it. Each display panel contains an APS or active pixel sensor, which looks outward through a small aperture that takes up a small portion of the panel's area. At the same time, a central controller linked to an external light meter automatically adjusts the brightness of the panels to match the ambient light. The underside of the shrouded object, be it a vehicle or something else, is lit artificially so that the upper display may show the ground as if it were ambient light. The Swedish steerable and controllable IR signature program would become crucial in funding Bay's adaptive camouflage system, which would take the concept of adaptive camouflage to a new level of technical development. Bay Systems developed adaptive to perfect the concept of adaptive camouflage. This patented infrared cloaking technology was conceived to blend in with the temperature of a specific location or mimic the infrared signature of other objects, such as small vehicles or more oversized objects, such as tanks. Footage taken by the company in April of 2011 during the DSEI exhibition in London shows a Swedish CV-90 light tank going through a forest landscape and accompanied by another vehicle. The video is captured through a thermal camera lens closely following the tank Suddenly, Adaptive's invisibility cloak gets into the action, and the whole vehicle disappears. Its infrared signature vanishes in a matter of seconds. Another scene shown during the exposition cuts to the combat vehicle using its advanced disguise capabilities. One screen shows how the operators alter the temperature of individual display pixels in the vehicle to simulate a much smaller car and trick enemy IR sensors. Furthermore, the adaptive system might help recognize and distinguish between friendly and hostile targets. Individual display pixels can also be activated to generate signals and letters that aid in identifying targets. And as shown in the clip, the CV-90 moves across the landscape as one displays the text Bay Systems. According to Bay, the high-tech camouflage system covers an armored vehicle's flanks with modules that resemble honeycomb cells. The modules are made of elements that can be cooled or heated up quickly and controlled individually, creating different patterns. The lightweight hexagonal pieces are electrically propelled and made of metal resistant to small weapons fire and shrapnel, adding an extra layer of armor protection. According to the business, adaptive functions are similar to a chameleon, mimicking its surroundings or replicating the shapes of other automobiles and trucks projected onto panels from an image bank. The technology is so advanced that it can make the tank mimic the temperature of an animal or plant, such as a cow, a tree, a bush, or a stone. The Future Adaptive is now only available on the CV-90 range of automobiles. Still, Bay intends to employ it on maritime or air vehicles. The honeycomb panels can be resized to achieve a stealth at different ranges. In the case of small cars, the pixels tend to be smaller, but the pixels can be more significant in displaying a lower resolution image in buildings or vessels. According to Peter Joland, Bay Systems Adaptive Project Manager, a high resolution image is required when the opponent is near, hence, the pixels must be smaller. You don't want a thermal pattern that does not appear natural. Joland noted that in a combat scenario, an armored vehicle engaged in urban warfare would need hand-sized honeycomb panels to confuse an opponent's infrared sensor at 200 to 300 meters. However, the situation changes with a warship as it engages the enemy in nautical miles and more extensive panels with low-resolution images can be used against enemy IR sensors. Bay will continue perfecting the system before it is incorporated into the Swedish army and sold to other countries worldwide. Still, Although Bay has taken the lead, other companies are focused on developing an adaptive camouflage system with the Invisible Reactive Armor Protection System developed by Altex, which has dubbed it Black Fox. The U.S. Army Research and Development Center and DARPS are also working on similar nature projects. If you enjoyed learning about adaptive camo, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Also, let us know in the comments below what you think of this game-changing camouflage technology developed by Bay Systems. Do you think it will be used on a large scale by worldwide armies? As always, we'll see you in the next one.